Hi all and this is my review today of uh, Microsoft Windows 10. Um, it's slightly different but we'll go through it because uh, a lot of the changes uh, are only uh, to the front, nothing really too heavy on the back end. So as you can see you've got different kind of uh, login screen. So you still log into uh, either you know via PIN or to your to Microsoft account. So when it first loads in it will come to this screen. This is my original desktop background. Um, so basically what happened was, when I was on 8.1 I had a notification here, a little window symbol clicked on there, do you want to be enrolled in the Microsoft Upgrade program, signed up and said yes. So that was only yesterday, then today um, I got a reminder saying that my, my software is actually ready and available for download. Um, so it downloads through Windows Updates, so it comes down through there. Um, it's about 2, two gig, um, so that took a short time to download, I guess there's a lot of people getting access to it and anyway. It installs and it's a non-disruptive upgrade. It doesn't doesn't flatten this machine and start again. So all my applications that I had before that were on my kind of like toolbar there and all my, my folders with my photos there were they were all there and they've all been maintained and retained, so no issues there. Um so like I said, the main change is you come into here, you don't go through the tile screen. If you click start before you modify it, the well your Windows thing, it comes up as your traditional XP Windows 7 style start menu and then it has the tiles in there which I quite like the Windows 8 tiles because I'm running on the Venue, uh, Venue 11 Pro tablet, a Dell tablet um, I like it going into the tile screen so what you can do is you can modify it so it is like a pop-up tile screen so the difference here is this is something you're loading to after loading to the desktop and you've got all your tiles and instead of clicking down to add more applications as tiles you've now got a side menu so it's the same principle of adding and removing tiles um, you've all then also got your power, your restart, your options there. So that's kind of changed slightly. Um, what you've also got on the desktop is, um, well, what you've got is the ability to drive a higher resolution. So Windows 8.1 was a bit limited when it came to resolution driving. So the Venue tablet, um, just go to the graphics properties. So prior to having Windows 10, I could only drive the max resolution that the uh, tablet could push out, which was 1920 by 1080, so a decent resolution. But this monitor is a quad HD, so it can do 2560 by 1440. So the great thing about Windows 10 is I can take full advantage of that that resolution. Um, you can also you've got a couple more settings, which is quite nice within your, your your graphics options. So in your display settings you've actually got the ability to change the size of how your apps and your tiles appear so you can have it at 100% which on a tablet makes them small all the way up to a uh, you know it's at 175 at the minute so you can actually determine how small icons and text are on your desktop so I've got it to 125% and at the t uh, you know the, the quad HD res resolution um, on there so another difference as well is on this side here, uh, there's a menu. Now I can't bring it up because I'm using a tablet, so I just have to flick it on the uh, the screen. So if I flick from the side, it now brings up this new uh, slightly revised menu option. So if you're running it as a pure tablet, you can enable something called tablet mode. And that basically means when it boots up, it's going to be on this tablet mode here on the, uh, the tiles. And clicking the uh, Microsoft button doesn't actually do anything. So this is if you purely want to use it in, in kind of like tablet design mode and, and you don't want to go to the, the main desktop. But because this is a, basically a full blown PC and a, an 11 inch form factor screen I want to run it in a, in full blown Windows mode. So then you've also got your location, settings, Bluetooth, VPN, everything else here. Also notifications, so when you first install it you have to re um, Revalidate your uh, Microsoft account with this device. So that's pop that pops up. Then you go, you know, your your normal uh, get a text message validation process. Okay, so again, you know, not nothing's really changed much there. Um, you know, all my applications work. So we jump back to Windows. So uh, iTunes works fine. Um, the sound I can hear it. The drivers work. Um, AVG works. That's supported on Windows 10. Um, I use Adobe for photo editing. So Photo Essential Elements, sorry, 13, that loads up absolutely fine, no issues there. I've got the Microsoft slash Intel wireless adapter, so I can stream my tablet to a, a TV. Um, I'm still yet to test that. I'm also wanting to do a review on this monitor. This is the Dell uh, 2515 25-inch ultra-sharp monitor. 
um, the Dell the new 11 Pro tablet with the M core processor, and also at the same time, I'm going to review the uh, the Microsoft uh, adapter because it's a great little feature. So as I mentioned, nothing really changed. Um, you know, you can up your maximum resolution of your devices. Um, the tile screen's done away with, but you can reintroduce it if you want. Um, but apart from that, I haven't found major changes. What I will do is if I find anything else or anything interesting, I'll post a, another video. But the key things are, it's upgraded through Microsoft um, Update Center. It doesn't take too long to do the actual installation. It's about 10 minutes from actually uh, being in the state of downloading it to actually installing it all. Um, Non-disruptive, you keep all your applications, um, you keep anything on here, and you know, look and feel very much like Windows 8. The, the main thing on Windows 10 is we should start seeing more stuff on the store because there's a universal um, binary application development now, which means that you know cross-platform things can be developed, developed on Windows 10. So Xbox games or Xbox apps will work on this, they'll work on Windows Phone, so it'll be a Interesting time, so we should see a lot more stuff appearing on the uh, the App Store because that's one thing that lets uh, Windows tablets down is there's not as much content as Android and, uh, and iOS. Um, there you go. There's my uh, very basic uh, summary review. Um, like I said, if I find anything more interesting, I will will put a review, another review and update. Um, any questions or any feedback, please feel free to uh, to message me and just. Uh, Show you that's it running on the uh, on the tablet, and I've just duplicated it onto the uh, onto the screen here. So thanks for thanks for taking the time to watch. Catch you guys later. Bye.